people are all about. You're seeing it right before your very eyes in America today. And John Daniels, uh, please continue. Well, uh, you know, Greg, uh, just to comment a little bit of what you just said, you know, you can you can name these things off. It's just like what I'm trying to share myself with the folks. Uh, unless you do your own homework, it look, much of this will go right over your head. You can you can you know you can talk about all these regimes, and uh, unless a person has experienced it, have been in the middle of it, and you understand the agony, the misery that these regimes have caused the, the common people, you know, it's a terrible, terrible thing, and the misery that is being brought on because of this system that wants to uh, uh, just create all the misery that they possibly can to terrify the people, to, to bring them into submission to this Luciferian system. And uh, it's a terrible, terrible thing. And, you know, I just want to just very briefly hear aid worker Kate Burton and her parents were kidnapped by a previously unknown militant group Suffolk on a visit to a Gaza refugee camp. The group initially demanded Israel cease the bombardment of a northern Gaza area declared off limits to Palestinians last week. The kidnapping prompted widespread calls throughout the Palestinian territories for the hostages release. In the Philippines, a judge said today... I'm coming out of the uh, little Greek restaurant. And what's sitting down here in the corner? Oh, a polizia. Just a polizia there. Oh, and he's coming this way too. Let's see, uh, 504. Yep, I'm filming you, fella. to 504. <coughs> I can't get it across walking. <laughs> It was in the lead up to the invasion, uh, the U.S. wanting to know uh, and put pressure on these. Uh, there was just another cop, just a second, 504, and this guy just came flying through. What is the difference between that kind of monitoring? to find a, an auto alarm, a car alarm, because they're breaking into my fucking car anytime they feel like it. So yeah, cops all over the place, as usual. During the Mau Mau uprising, when white people were scared to death, not only in Kenya, but throughout Africa, and not only in Africa, but throughout the world, because there were people who looked just like the Kikuyu right here in New York, in Mississippi, and other places. When, uh, when Mau Mau was on the rampage and Jomo Kenyatta was given the image of a monster, 
together all of me. And you'd be Your surprised. And you'd be surprised. Well, here's another little stroll, Sunday stroll. And here's our nice little siren. Five oh eight Suffolk Police. Jeez, isn't that the surprise? Surprise it took so long for him to get to do that. Jerks. But they're actually ta t uh, targeting people. You're so great. Yeah, definitely. They're watching the show. Tonight, man. I've, had, I've, had, I've yeah. had two cops call me tonight. I sat over there and saw the cops right by. Yeah. They trust me. Well, uh, maybe you, you were here too. That might have been part of it. Yeah. But uh, have you been here a while? I've been here for like two days now. Other than Newcastle and this dog, that was it pretty much. Yeah. Come here. Look, look at her dog tag. Look at her name. What's your name, girl? Where are we on tape? Yeah, you can no. recording us. Hope. Why are you recording us? No, I'm not recording you. I'm this Hope. Do uh, you ever hear of Barack Obama's Hope? This is what's on it. I'm actually making a movie about Obama. So that's uh, one of my goals. So, I don't know what you think about that. I'm in a few weeks already. Huh? I'm in a few weeks already. Shit. What? What's that? Short hopping. I've been like I've been like a random before. Like a commander called like traveling, short hopping, shit. Well, no, I'm just like I'm trying to get people's views on what's going on. I mean, I think a what's lot of people are sick of exploitation in other exactly. countries. Exactly. Oh yeah. I mean, you drive through. I was talking to a guy well, here. Trying to, try to plan war and raise taxes and fucking shit like that. Uh, I mean, a guy come from Baltimore. It's one of the most depressed cities in the world, in the country. And it's just, just slums. But we can we can wage war all around the world. Yeah, well, great. I look forward to seeing you there. And my story's there. Take care. <laughs> Have a good night. Take care. Ma Malcolm X. Talking about oppression. When they begin to use these names in their struggle for freedom, the, the press of the West began to project them in a very negative image. They were freedom fighters. They were African patriots fighting against oppression. They weren't fighting against a legal government. They weren't fighting against a moral society. They were fighting against a, a, a colonial power, an imperialist power, a, a vulturous society. And this vulturous society, with its control of the press and its, and its uh, allies here in the United States, who also control much of the press, projected these freedom fighters, these African patriots, uh, in the image of savages, cannibals, terrorists, some as criminals, actually. And they projected... ...and betrayed by the state of the mainstream media in this country. A media whose priorities seem out of step with their responsibilities. We need a media that strengthens democracy, not a media that strengthens the government. We need a media that enriches public discourse, not one that enriches corporations. Hi, I'm Jane Fonda, and this is WBAI, listener-supported, non-commercial radio in New York. You go, girl. And as Lewis said,